Hey, what's going on guys? It is last year. Welcome to episode number 7 of Brothers in Arms. Today we've got a lot of things changing, a lot of things to get through. So let's get stuck in. So first off, if you guys are looking for any ultimate team coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. Use my code LA5TY. That'll get you a 10% discount. Links down below in the description. If you could smash a like on the video, that would be absolutely epic. Let's hit 2,000 likes on this video. So the first thing I wanted to show you today, we're not playing with the Danish people, but my Christian Eriksen got upgraded. How epic is that? My 85 man of the match Ericsson is now 86 rated with some awesome awesome stats the other thing I wanted to mention is the giveaway winner Lewis Price you left a comment down below telling me your Twitter and that you're on Xbox one randomly chose you so you win that look out for a DM from me on Twitter in the next couple of days so we go into our first match with my hybrid uh, we come up against this. The team's called Banter. I'm, I'm like loving it because I'm thinking, all right, we're up against a team which I can quite easily beat. Um, ugh, really was not a good game. And my opponent was extremely good at FIFA. And therefore, he was obviously just challenging himself by having stupid players like John Stead up front or whoever it was. I believe it was John Stead, like Rod Ayager and players that are not normally used on Ultimate Team. He goes 1-0 up in the 31st or 32nd minute right there. We run straight through kick off with charisma and win ourselves a penalty uh, basically the only opportunity that I really had so far in this half was this penalty we do convert it with Michael Laudrop and uh, that is one all thank you very much take that a couple of minutes later a uh, nice tidy finish into the top right as I pretty much always go that way uh, we then pick the ball up just a few minutes later here with Laudrop he goes on a hell of a run lovely advanced roulette and a banging strike to, to put that one in the back of the net that was Michael Laudrop again the cam so he's now on a brace from central attacking midfield. Brian Laudrup seems to be a little bit quiet in this game. Maybe he can get on the score sheet a little bit later on. We tried things out here with Laudrup again. Michael again, I believe. A great save from the goalkeeper. And at halftime, look at that. We're getting absolutely dominated by this joke team. And it wasn't good. But we were winning, fortunately for me. Uh, and I, all I needed to do was hold this game out for the second half. And it wasn't easy because possession-wise, I was struggling. This guy really held the ball well. I could have I had the opportunity there to put a two goal advantage through and it didn't quite work out for me and then this happens in the 90th minute of course this guy scores the equalizer he brought he brung on Vidal and Javinho I believe some Serie A sweat players uh, and he scored really late and we had to go into extra time that didn't go well for me because he turned up the pace and turned up the the pressure and scored a goal in the 99th minute. I could not get back into this match to save my life. And Rod Ayega runs through. Scores a goal in the 118th. To absolutely stick the nail in the coffin. And that wasn't good. I was so angry. I was absolutely livid after that game. It was not good for my health, I don't think. It was awful. You know that FIFA age is strong sometimes. So what we've got to do is take nine shots and hit nine players to shoot for safety. We've got unlocked every single player so far, so we need to make sure we keep them in the squad so that I can start to think about a new hybrid for myself. Uh, I'm also going to I'm gonna show you the hybrid that I've chosen from you guys, and we're going to use that in the next game right now. Um, but we're basically hitting everyone um, that we need to hit. We're getting, you know, very lucky. We just hit the side of White now them right there so he gets to stay in the club so does Opare and the last one we need is Cahill which we hit so luckily we keep every single player we don't lose any which is good this is my new hybrid well it's not really a hybrid it's just my new squad uh, wasn't particularly going for a hybrid I wanted something that was overpowered and I thought bringing in form Chikawi in would be an absolutely great start so from next episode we'll start trying our best to earn that one right there Kyle Moffat this is your squad that you decided to choose for me today the reason I really liked it is because it had a few upgraded players in there and I thought that would be a really nice team to use as our new hybrid or your new hybrid. We've got the likes of upgraded um, the guy from Arsenal. can't remember his name right now. We've got Nanny, we've got Christian Eriksen, we've got Seamus Coleman, all sorts of good stuff. But in order to unlock players for that squad, we need to go back to your first hybrid. Instead of going all the way back and using bronze players, we're going to be working our way towards the new team using this team. So we're going to go into a match. We come up against this. Serie A squad. No, that's the name of the squad. But it's actually just a sweaty BPL team with some very, very good players in it. And I was more worried about this game than I was the last one. But you know how the last one went. So you never know on Ultimate Team. It's just you could come up against the, the worst team and then absolutely get trashed on 
But then you could come up, up against an amazing full legend squad and absolutely walk it. It's just weird. It's all down to how good the player is, I, I believe. And sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm not a very good ultimate team player. You guys know that by now. But I feel like um, sometimes I get the win simply because some of the players that I have, especially the legends, they really do help me out. They outperform their card stats, which is great because it gives me that advantage that I need. Because not, not, you don't often come up against legends, it's got to be said. Uh, unfortunately for me, me, this guy goes 1-0 up because I was I was pressuring him. I had all the possession, all the shots on target. Look at that right there. We had seven shots to his two, 58% possession, and we're 1-0 down at half time. I'm not having that. So I go on a run straight from kickoff and Loudrop scores. We get back into this game straight away, um, going to the second half like we mean business. And just a few minutes later, uh, Loudrop again finding his way into the box. A little bit more lucky this time. Uh, because I was tackled a couple of times. We go 2-1 up. And that was just me saying that I'm not I'm not losing this match. It's just not going to happen. And we go 3-1 up in the 81st minute on the dot. A uh, very, very solid finish right there. I believe Brian's got two goals and Michael's got one. Um, I struggle to see the difference between these two. He does get a goal back in the 90th minute. But that's not going to mean anything. He gives me the can you hear me. And he gives me the shush as well. Even though he's losing. So, um, yeah, brilliant one, mate. Nice one. We do win the game 3-2 two in the end. Uh, unlocking the seven shots on the target I believe because we got three goals with our legends and we also won the match which is quite nice. So um, we're going to take seven shots on the target trying to unlock some players for your new hybrid. I've got five games to unlock the whole team. First shot we take we hit a little bit of Nanny but not enough to unlock him. Second shot we sort of miss him. I feel like my aim has completely gone at this point in time. We hit most of Gabriel right there. That is the name of the Arsenal guy. And then we hit the tiniest bit extra of him which I'm going to class as an unlock because we've got two shots on him right there. I'm doing my best to hit absolutely anyone right now. Thiago Silva was a target of mine. Thought it'd be nice to get the two Brazilians in there but we missed basically every other shot and we only unlock Gabriel which is not too amazing. Time to stick him into the squad. We'll switch out Benatia for him right now um, because well we don't need him anymore. He was part of the first team. So Gabriel goes into the squad. We managed to keep 100 chemistry simply because at the moment we've got a few BPL players in there. Once we start to get a couple more players from the team that uh, I'm trying to build I'll switch that formation up to the 4-5-1 uh, and then we'll unlock the players from there. If you could smash that like button That'd be absolutely epic, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Lewis Price, check your Twitter in a couple of days, bro. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.